वेलकम एवरी वन आई होप यू आर इन गुड हेल्थ आई एम योर केमिस्ट्री टीचर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद चैप्टर वाटर एंड नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस एंड सम फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ वाटर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ वाटर वाटर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एस इन मेनी वेज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक ऑन फ्यू ऑफ दैम नंबर वन वाटर इज असेंशियल फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ लिविंग बींग्स दैट इज प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स all the living beings need water for almost every function which is being carried out by every cell of their body water is also used to grow and cook food it is also used for drinking cleaning etc water is also needed by industries for various purposes such as it is used to generate steam in boilers it is used as a coolant in nuclear reactors water is used in the manufacture of chemicals such as oxygen nitric acid hydrogen ammonia etc then it is also used to generate electricity for example the thermoelectric power stations as well as the hydroelectric power stations use a large amount of water to produce electricity then the bulk transport of goods from one country to another country is also carried out through sea water we also use water in laboratory for carrying out various reactions then last but not the least it is also used as a universal solvent the various properties of water makes it a very useful compound let's discuss the physical properties of water pure water is clear liquid with no color and it is transparent it is odorless means it has no smell also it has no taste at one atmospheric pressure the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius but if the pressure is changed or the impurities are added to water its boiling point gets affected increase in pressure raises the boiling point and decrease in pressure lowers the boiling point of water we don't have to study it in detail but let me tell you briefly about it to boil water means to convert it from liquid state to gaseous state and this can happen only if the molecules of liquid water goes far apart from each other and if we increase the pressure on liquid water its molecules will come more nearer to each other and due to this the intermolecular forces between the molecules of water increase and thus more heat energy means more high temperature will be required to break the attraction between molecules and hence the water boils at high temperature than 100 degree celsius if the pressure on it is increased above one atmosphere in the similar way we can explain why boiling point of water is lowered on decreasing the pressure this knowledge is also helpful in telling that why at high altitudes a pressure cooker is useful to cook food we know that with increase in altitude the pressure goes on lowering and due to low pressure at high altitudes water boils at low temperature and if on little heating the water gets boiled then how will it be possible to cook food properly therefore pressure cooker is used to cook food because the boiling point of water can be increased by increasing the pressure then the presence of dissolved salts in water raises the boiling point of water This is because the presence of salt reduces the escaping tendency of water molecules into vapor phase because some of the salt molecules occupy the position of water molecules on the surface. The freezing point of pure water is 0 degree Celsius at one atmospheric pressure. Freezing point also gets affected by the change in pressure and impurities. Increase in pressure lowers the freezing point of water. it happens because water expands when it freezes so if we compress it it becomes more compact liquid water that is why to convert it into ice its temperature needs to be more lower the presence of soluble salts in water also lowers the freezing point of water and due to this reason only to melt snow on roads of hilly areas sodium chloride is sprayed on the roads because this lowers the melting point of ice and the road is cleared of snow if we talk about density water behaves differently than other substances because normally the density of substances in solid state is higher than their liquid state but water has maximum density of 1 g per cubic centimeter at 4 degree celsius and ice has lower density than liquid water due to this reason only ice floats on water pure water is a bad conductor of heat and electricity the dielectric constant of water is very high 
Then the next property is specific heat capacity, which may be defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a substance per unit of mass. Means कि कोई भी substance कितनी heat absorb करके अपना temperature one degree increase करेगा. And at fifteen degrees Celsius, one gram of water requires one calorie or four point two joules of heat energy to raise its temperature to one degree Celsius. The next one is the specific latent heat of fusion, which means the amount of heat required to convert a unit mass of a substance from solid to liquid state at its melting point. And if we have to convert one gram of ice into liquid water at zero degree Celsius, then we need to supply an energy equal to four fifty calories to it. The next is the specific latent heat of vaporization, which is defined as the amount of heat required to convert a unit mass of a substance from liquid to gaseous state at its boiling point. And if we want to convert one gram of liquid water into water vapor, then we have to supply an energy of eighty calories to it at hundred degrees Celsius. So, if you ask me, if you have two things, one is liquid water at hundred degrees Celsius, and second is the water vapor at hundred degrees Celsius. Then, more heat energy will be used. Obviously, it will be used in water vapor. क्यों क्योंकि लिक्विड वाटर अगर 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस पे है अगर वो 80 कैलोरीज एनर्जी एब्सॉर्ब करेगा तभी तो वो वाटर वेपर की फॉर्म में आ पाएगा मींस वाटर ने एनर्जी एब्सॉर्ब की तभी वो वेपर स्टेट में आया तो वेपर में ज्यादा एनर्जी हुई इज इट क्लियर इन द सिमिलर मैनर वी कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन दैट वाई अ बर्न कॉज बाय स्टीम इज मोर सिवियर देन अ बर्न कॉज बाय बॉइलिंग वाटर Now you know very well that due to high value of specific latent heat of vaporization of water, the energy means the heat energy stored in steam is more than the heat energy stored in boiling water. So it causes more severe burn than boiling water. Then the next topic is anomalous behavior of water. As we have discussed earlier also that water's behavior is somewhat abnormal if we see other substances also because normally the substances contracts on being cooled but water is the only substance which expands on cooling at temperature below 4 degrees celsius you must have seen or read somewhere that in the countries or places where temperature falls to 0 degrees celsius or below during winters the whole water in the rivers or lakes does not freeze up to the bottom but a layer of ice is formed at the surface of lakes or rivers which keeps on floating on the surface only have you ever thought that why does it happen it happens due to the anomalous behavior of water only just keep it in your mind that when temperature decreases below 4 degrees celsius the water starts expanding and its density starts decreasing and at 0 degree celsius when ice is formed it starts floating on water because of less density so to answer that question we can say that when water at the bottom of ponds or lakes or rivers freezes into ice at 0 degree celsius or below the ice being lighter than water rises and floats on the surface of water body water forms the lower layer in which the aquatic animals can survive thus the upper layer of ice acts as an insulator and protects the aquatic animals from further cold 